am dealing with a gender issue. I'm wearing a dress, and there's no pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and my interest is how can we make sense out of the data? So what I'm going to speak to you today about is action intelligence, because no matter how much data we collect, we really have to make sense of it. And how do we make sense of the masses of data that are coming in means we have to deal with sociocultural reality. So how many of you have traveled, taken your computers out, and, decide, and discovered that you really can't plug in? You can't share. I, I can see you. I was thinking this was going to be a dark stage, so I couldn't see hands. I'm assuming that at some point in time, you've had to deal with your plug issue. And that means that you were not able to use the information coming in or going out. I actually like plugs. They're very gender. You have male and female. <laughs> and this, I think, in the last 100 years has certain implications about the kind of way we use the data. And what do we do? We now have an adaptable standard. We have to, in our crisis work, in our, develop, in our humanitarian work, in our development work, I believe, given the reality of what's going on in terms of data, we have to have an adaptable standard. Because if we look at societies as objective from afar, we're really not doing justice to the kind of data that we have spent a very long time trying to gather. In other words, we have to look at the cultural complexity of the data. So we can study crickets, but the cricket will be a pest in one place, a delicious appetizer in another, or a pet. Now, as crisis mappers, as people involved with humanitarian work, as development, we, a group of us in what we call Intelligence for Humanity, have come up with what we call the action intelligence process. What this is, it's a way of dealing with the sociocultural data, the microdata, so that we can actually manage and analyze multiple dimensions, multiple ways, because we know reality is actually extraordinarily complex. That no matter what we do, we can, have, we can show one level, we need to find a way to link. So we need to know who is doing what, where, and when. And we need to know that both immediately for a crisis, and it has to be transformed into what we call legacy data. We have to be able to compare the data. Now, the, what you're going to see are screenshots based on data that we collected in six countries. We were working on climate action intelligence. We have to be able to now compare action by place. We can now compare action by time which means that we can see when did a policy, when was a policy instituted across various sectors, and when, was it at, when did we actually see the implementation of a project. So, and we're able to link um, actors to action. We, have what we, we use the brain, some of you might know that, for what we call our object relations. We can show actors to actors. We can show actors to action. We can then begin to understand what's going on at the same time. This is an example of what we were able to discover. This was in the Republic of Congo. And we found by organizing our data, using our standard coding process, that there were two activities occurring simultaneously, basically dealing with the same issue. The process is very simple. I'm a sociologist. So let's use what we know. We collect the data, which is what you're all doing. And what we're offering is an idea of how to classify and code the data so that we can make sense of it. We collect it. We organize it, we've worked with teams, we're working primarily with university teams, where we organize it according to a, a set of um, standards that allow us to make sense. The data is collected both at a micro and at a macro level. We have what our basic classification, our ontology, is that we organize by place, which is what everybody here is very good at, by time, and then we have actors, actions, and artifacts. The color coding actually is used later. We then have two lenses that are basic. We work at a level of complexity which allows us to see the alignment of the data from a strategic document, for example, down to implementation. And we're able to work then with the linkages. We use a, a sociological model that there are five basic institutions in all societies. How they're organized is different. The visual tools we use are free and open source. We, the, co the most important part of our process is allowing us to pour the data into these open source. And by doing so, we have an adaptable standard, which allows us to work anywhere in the world and communicate with each other. 
the information about I'll be around, and the, I'm actually ahead of time. <laughs> this is the contact information, so if you'd like to get in touch with me, I'll be around. Thank you.